So we're here at the Genia Tech booth, and uh, you have an ARM PC right here. Yeah, hi Chabax. What I'd like to show you is our ARM PC. Well, it's a media gateway. It's unbelievable. Let me turn around a little bit, and you can see it some more. It's an industry-grade design. It's really a commercial design. And look at it, the bag. You see HDMI in as well as HDMI out. But you see also one port and a LAN port. And what? we have really, it? it's more or less a really a gateway, a home gateway. This so is a router. It's a router, yeah. It gives you router capabilities, antenna design, multi-MIMO, 2 by 2 For sure, I see everything what you need to do. It and it says ARM PC on the top. Why do you promote ARM so much? Uh, ARM gives the capabilities of high performance IoT computing and high performance of less power uh, consumption as is necessary. It gives you the full connectivity to all kinds of protocols and yeah. solutions we have in place. So the 1900 <coughs> and the 1295 APC sample here, what we're showing here, the prototype, gives you full home gateway capabilities. It replaces your router in your home and it directly hooks you up to the network itself. So, uh, so, like the router companies are like, uh, there's some big ones like Netgear and also uh, Synology is trying to do stuff. But yeah, now you're sure. doing a totally different way to make a home gateway. Are yeah. you? Uh, what, what is different that you're bringing? Well, the biggest difference what we bring in, we bring yeah. in the uh, <clears throat> the Android-based platform here. So Android. Get, yeah, we run an Android 6.0 on it, and it's hooked up directly to TV. It can be integrated hard drive. You do. PVR functionality, but it also gives you access point functionality. We wouldn't replace, a, let's say, a router, a router which comes from the media, uh, from the broadcaster itself, and from the telecommunication companies. But we give these capabilities to download and root and PVR your content you are watching on your TV or at your home. PVR, so you can uh, you can uh, HDMI input your TV box uh, like the the. The, like, the, like say, here in the US, we talk about the dish box, a cable box, a cox box. You put it in and you control it directly over it. And you have an HDMI in interface, which means it comes in as just a window. And you also can run an overlay above it to watch your TV, which coming from your digital receiver. So this becomes your DVR? As well. This becomes another hotspot? It could be another hotspot. Uh, this becomes a... a an your Android setup box. Yeah, and it adds you the capabilities. If you stream in the DVR, let's say, your digital content by your cable box, we redistribute it. So it means you can stream your content from, from this box, from this gateway, to anywhere in your home. Yes. This is really a remarkable design. So you have ITV functionality in there? We have ITV functionality in there. We say this is a net stream functionality as well. But uh, no tuner, right? No tuner, no need. Because we get the, the, <clears throat> the tuner functionality coming from the cable box. So from the cable box it comes in here and we redistribute it to iPhone, iPads and to any kind of streaming enabled uh, device in your home. What's the ARM processor you're using? I cannot disclose. I'm very sorry. But this is a very powerful one. It's a very powerful one. And uh, you're always in the forefront of using new ARM solutions, right? Yeah, we try to be, but we try to be mature. But you need also a lot of software capabilities to do so, as we do here with this model. It's not just about the newest, fastest ARM, then. It's about uh, a ma uh, mastering how to use everything from the yeah. ARM processor, yeah, that's which is your truth. speciality, right? So it's, it's not only CPU power, it's GPU power, it's encoding and decoding power we're going to use here. And we need this encoding and decoding to do real transcoding to move it to other devices as well in your home. So it's a multimedia uh, beast? More or less, let's say. It's home. our beast. And you have some other beasts around here. What are you showing yeah. here? Yeah, okay. Here we have the APC 1966, yeah? That's a really also, again, industry-grade design, works. But is it for consumers or not, all this stuff? It can be also for consumers, but we always start from industry-grade <coughs> to make sure that we meet the highest standards. 
Yeah. So what we're going to do here, if you turn it around, for sure we have all the network capabilities. We have a three HDMI. Three? Three HDMI in. What? It's three in. Three HDMI in, Starbucks. You won't believe it? It's crazy, right? But what we want to do is this industry-grade uh, design, also ARM-based for sure, yeah? <laughs> to get three full HD or 4K video sources in, manage inside of it, redistribute it to your house anywhere you want, but also display it directly to a device. In addition to the matter of fact, you can connect to a digital antenna as well, like ATSC, T2, cable, whatever it's necessary, or just here again in the US, it's ATSC Clear Quam, and also get it in, display it on your TV, or risk distribute it in the house. It so, be sorry, I'm interrupt, but three, that means uh, TV box, that means the, the free over-the-air tuner, that means another, another, that's another like a lot of stuff. It can eat any video source. Can you imagine any video source? It can be a camera, it can be a digital setup box, it can be your Blu-ray player, and we redistribute it from there. Games. Game it console? can be a piece, game console, Xbox as well, PS4, PSX, whatever is necessary. We eat all video sources. That you should know. A Chromecast, it can be a, a Fire TV stick, can Chromecast, Fire TV stick, whatever is necessary. Again, it's another beast, <laughs> you say. It's a video in beast. And uh, it streams all that in your home network in full HD? Full HD, what is necessary. We do a transcoding, we only deliver and give burden to the bandwidth at the home network only what is necessary. And when you have one of those at home, you can see that stream from all over the world. That's possible. For sure, you need to be comply with the legal and also with the digital right management. So some content, you know, it's uh, only local-wise available. Uh, uh, so there's, I guess, a way to comply. There's a system for that. Yeah, there's a system for that. All these devices are hooked up to our cloud services, which we make available to our OEM customers. And they are registered there, and for sure, <clears throat> Uh, we follow with this cloud service, we are able to give the highest security on the trusted platforms. So also integration of DRM system and also respect DRM systems. HDCP compliant. HDCP, comp HDCP compliant as well as e also local DRM compliant. You know, some content is only available in certain kind of countries and only licensed in countries. We need to be IP network compliant. And it's also Android. All Android, really. So this is like a crazy use of Android. Nobody does this, right? I don't think so. so Nobody else can do this. So let me show you another uh, design we, we, we may manage so far. We get all these inquiries that customers said, OK, there are some customers in the Middle East where, let's say, cable connected. Uh, solutions are really not so available on the network side so therefore the telecommunication companies work more on the LTE so 4G 5G yeah. side yeah so what we develop here is actually an Android box with 4G modem integrated which blast and give you directly a gateway to access the internet but also access any kind of let's say industry-grade applications as well. So there's a SIM card slot? There's a SIM card slot for it. So, as I said, it is a 4G modem integrated, SIM card in, gets enabled, watch and video on demand, get live TV, IPTV, OTT content directly to this box. So there's some people that uh, need just the 4G to get access to the internet? Yeah, you go to the Middle East, there is no, the telecommunication only works by wireless. So you have your mobile phone and also content access. It's not that same way as we have in, in, in Europe or in the US, that you have so much cable TV or cable access to any kind of internet promotion as well. Well, that's going to consume uh, potentially our bandwidth on the 4G, but that's, they're used to that. Yeah. In those countries, they have LTE? Yeah. They have LTE. And they have enough bandwidth for yeah. They have enough bandwidth to it. They put it in their home behind, below their TV, and then they say they're happy. That makes a hotspot. That makes also a hotspot, for sure. Uh, so, do you have some other stuff you want to show? I can show. So, you have a. Uh, th this is a. Uh, 
that's the solution we developed so far, um, <clears throat> which is the newest one is. Uh, but you already see it, I think, also on the MyGeeker side as well. It's an octa-core solution, newest one, 912, based on AM Logic. Very stable. Very stable, runs fine, happy with it, decodes any kind of content, including VP9. That's a, a very important part. I think there are certain kind of content sharing companies like uh, Netflix or any other which needs to be decoding VP9 very seamlessly and smooth. All right, and do you have a new antenna for the Pad TV, like a new design for it, or? No, we don't do that uh, anymore. I think we already know that. We have this, let's say, NetStream technology, which we're gonna use also for our ITV brand as, as well. It's open a hotspot, you connect to your TV, and you can access from any kind of mobile or any devices, from Mac, PC, as well, from Android devices to this. Uh, NetStream uh, technology. So here at the CES has uh, been very busy, right? There's lots of uh, interest all the time for Geniatech. Yeah, lots yeah, of people coming here. Thanks to our customers, they're always coming back to us. We are quite happy that they are. But we've got also a lot of new approaches and new uh, inquiries from customers who just step by. A lot of from telecommunication companies, which uh, already know us from the integration path for certain kind of application and firmware and DRM designs and for also the value our quality we deliver so far to the customer worldwide. And uh, uh, so this is the CES Consumer Electronics Show. You will also plan to go to the uh, Embedded World. We what are you going to talk about there? You, we'll see, right? Well, Embedded World will be a different story. This is all about Industry 4.0 and industry grade, grade solutions, where we will show there a lot of high-performance IoT solutions based on Qualcomm chipsets, and also other chipsets as well, where we do and follow the integration path for our customers. And all this kind of stuff, uh, Android Linux custom platform. Yeah. You're experts in this. We try to do good things. We have three R&D centers, one in the US, two in, in China, fully new people on board. It's great to work with these guys.